Welcome to Archie's Back in Time Virtual Journey into Ancient Egypt. I chose this landscape because I was looking for big sandy rocky canyons, just like the Valley of the Kings. There's a river nearby, just like the Nile. The Valley of the Kings stands on the west bank of the Nile. This is Howard Carter's tent. He discovered Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. This is the entrance he discovered. This sign marks the entrance today. As we walk down the steps, the first room we come to is the antechamber. Lots of chests and shells that looked like hats were found in this room. These gold blocks represent the golden shells. There were also stools to sit on. These blocks are the stools. The annex room was named by Howard Carter. It contained board games, lots of pots and wine, oils and food. When Carter found this room, it was really messy because not long after Tutankhamun was put in his tomb, thieves broke in and looked for jewellery. This is Tutankhamun's burial chamber. This room was the only room that had hieroglyphics on the walls. The only other marks were on the entrance steps. This is the northern wall. This is the eastern wall. This is the southern wall. And this is the western wall. Inside the sarcophagus was Tutankhamun's mummy, his golden coffin and his death mask. The treasury had a wooden shrine covered in gold. Inside it were Tutankhamun's canopic jars containing his lungs, intestines, stomach and his liver. There were also 14 boats in his room to sail Tutankhamun to the afterlife. I've built this model according to pictures of the layout of this tomb. I hope you enjoyed this virtual journey into ancient Egypt. Join me next time in the Pyramids of Giza. Big shout out to Howard Carter, without whom this project would not have been possible. Also, Tutu Kamim's death played a big part.